it's interesting because you know one of the things that you're known uh, online is this uh, experiment that you did with uh, icing your testicles. So I think like a, it would be a good icebreaker between you and the audience to like uh, maybe explain of uh, you know what why did you do it and uh, how does it work and what were the kind of results. Yeah, man. Um, so I actually stumbled across the practice, like scrolling through some uh, bodybuilding forums a long time ago. And I've read some some people logging their experience, you know, like applying an ice pack to their um, testes. And I was like, hmm, I sort of looked into the research and, you know, I came across some studies sort of um, demonstrating beneficial effects on fertility. And so there was like a one particular study that demonstrated that um, icing the testes for like eight to 12 weeks improves a variety of sperm parameters. And obviously being the biohacker I am, similar to you, Sim, um, I ended up sort of just trialing it myself. And, you know, I started, I grabbed an ice pack and started applying it, you know, regularly every single night. And um, I thought, hmm, there's something, there's definitely something to this because, you know, I was obviously waking up with um, better morning wood and noticing more energy and things like that. So yeah, man, then I, then I sort of did blood work before and after um, 12 weeks and I managed to get my testosterone all the way up to 988 nanograms mm. per deciliter. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty crazy. And uh, the testosterone level is also quite high. We can talk about it a bit later of how you did it. But, um, you know, what's the like potential mechanisms of this cold improving, I don't know, like sperm? Yeah, so the, the, the research sort of looked at how um, anytime the testes are two degrees too warm, so anytime they're outside, um, you know, increased by two degrees outside, outside of core body temperature, they actually, it actually arrests spermatogenesis. So it's, it actually impairs fertility. So the practice is based around, um, you know, we're cooling the testes, but we're also one of the mechanisms that hasn't been fully explored is the um, vasoconstriction that occurs. Just like when we have a cold shower or jump into an ice bath, we get severe, you know, vasoconstriction. I think the same sort of will apply with the testes. We're getting major vasoconstriction up against the actual gonads. And then that's followed by like a rebound sort of vasodilatory response, which makes sense sort of just bringing more oxygen nutrients to the testes to help with their uh, function mm, right so you wouldn't want to basically have uh some something hot on on your lap uh, sitting like a laptop or something uh, that that would uh, in, also inhibit this uh, spermatogenesis exactly yeah and that's a f one of the leading causes of uh infertility is is um just generally like you know being exposed to emfs and um just heat in general is having a deleterious effect on sperm parameters. Um, you know, definitely one of the leading culprits behind uh, infertility for sure. Mm -hmm. I also, you know, gotten a lot of questions about like the sauna. Uh, so would that also have like this a negative effect? Yeah. So part of my recommendations when it when it comes to sauna usage is that I think all men need to need to bring an ice pack in with them uh, <laughs> using the sauna. I know it sounds sounds crazy, but um. I mean, I, I've got my own infrared sauna here, full spectrum, you know, mid-near and far infrared. And um, I always make sure to bring an ice pack in. And uh, it just makes sense because traditionally they viewed the, um, the the sauna or like heat exposure as a mean as a male contraceptive a mm. long time ago, like okay. a method of contraception. Right. And uh, is there any, um, let's say, uh, you know, like prescription or protocol with the ice pack, like how many times a day would you need to do it? How long per each session? Yeah. So um, there is no, like, I mean, I'm trying to sort of uh, describe like a bit of a protocol and that would be like 10 to 15 minutes up to three times per day. And I think the best way to sort of start is, and one thing that all men need to know is that, we don't want to be applying the ice pack directly to the skin of the testes. We don't want to burn the skin. A lot of guys think that it's, you know, applying the ice pack there, but it's just going to damage the skin and burn the skin. So instead you want to apply it directly up against the, the underwear um, okay. for 10 to 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That was a good clarification.